Welcome everybody, I'm Burner. This is The Walking Dead Road to Survival. And we have a new edition of Worth the Squeeze. And it is for this weapon pack you see here. Ready for War Ultimate Weapon Pack. Ultimate! Uh, for a limited time, the Ultimate Weapon Pack is available in the shop. With each pack, you'll get a guaranteed 4-star weapon and other rewards that will help you gear up for war. Alright, you know... The outlook is high. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Let's go find out. Here we have it. Ultimate weapon. Uh, we can get two at a nice hefty price tag of 600 or 1600 coins. Uh, even worse than 600. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what that's going to get us. Okay, we have these guaranteed... Well, we have a guaranteed four-star weapon, and as I'm looking at them, I don't even need to click on a single one. I can tell you every single one of these weapons you can get as a weapon drop. These are not very high-end four-star weapons. They're going to do mixed things like this axe. They're going to give crit like this gun. Oh, well, let me take that back. Maybe I do need to click on these. Okay. A little Magnazil. What else we got in here? Negan. No, nope, that's not special. That's not special. That's not special. Okay. Ezekiel Superior Sword. Attack down. Okay. Everything else is not special. So, sometimes I'm wrong. That happens. Let me point out that six of these eight, of which you're more than likely going to get the vast majority of the time, are not special and you can get as a drop but uh, like we just saw there is Magna's pistol in here which will do some bonus healing uh, when you get healed and Ezekiel's superior sword which will do attack down. Attack down is pretty nice um, it is craftable though um, so nothing too bad I, I'm not too high on these weapons let's see what else we're getting alright you know I see a flak and a beanie but we know more than likely you are going to get a hiking boot or a stupid safety helmet and that is going to make you very angry then we have yep chance for silver paint or etching acid it's the ultimate weapon pack and they can't even give you a chance to get duct tape or a polishing kit and I say that I stress the word chance because more than likely you're going to get these bottom items and not the silver paint or the etching acid which aren't even the things that you need the most to create the best weapon. So I don't... If this is the ultimate weapon pack, then... Um, that says a lot about what they're willing to uh, let us attain. Uh, and then some materials. Materials have zero value. We all have way more than we need. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, a pretty, pretty shitty deal. Uh, I, I'm going to give this three lemons the only only thing keeping this from being a four lemon sour puss don't get any of this juice in your eye that's how terrible it is deal is uh, the fact that you are guaranteed a four star weapon it does seem like they've I won't say nerfed it seems like they've hindered the drops a bit uh, and there you know there's a chance to get these special weapons of uh, Magna's uh, pistol and Ezekiel sword so just for that, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and boost them one up. But this is very close to being a four lemon deal right here, especially at a price tag of 1,600 coins. You know, uh, this is the basic way I put it. Uh, if we look at the materials, you don't need. That has no value for you. If we look at these weapon parts, uh, six of the eight you can craft on your own. And unfortunately, you're probably going to get one of those six. You're going to probably get something you can craft on your own. It's not even going to probably save you much time if you get one. This has very minimal value. A few lucky people will get some silver paint and some etching acid. And guess what? That's not that big a deal. It's not going to really allow you to get those uh, highest end weapon upgrades that you want. Then we have the flak and the beanie and the hiking boots and the safety helmet because you're going to get a safety helmet or a hiking boot the vast majority of the time this also has very very tiny value for you uh, and then we get to 
a, a guaranteed uh, four star weapon. Uh, more than likely you're going to get these lower six that you can get as drops in the world map. Um, you know, what would I pay for this? I would maybe pay a thousand supply depot points. I mean, I'll take that back, you know, with the chance for, you know, a flak or a beanie or something higher. You know, maybe I'd throw 2,000 supply depot points at this. To get a guaranteed four, uh, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Let's see. Um, I don't think I have a four-star four, uh, four star weapon in my uh, supply depot right now. I think I just have a three. So I was going to jump over there. You know, the cost on a four-star is usually 1,400. I snag those up when they come around. So let's use that as a baseline. 1,400. A chance at these other things. Let's say 2,000 supply depot points. That's That's what I would pay for this coin value I mean what do I really think it's worth I don't know maybe a tenth of that maybe 200 coins maybe that's what I'd be willing to pay that's basically like me saying what would I pay for a fire axe that I have plenty of safety helmets which I have no need for uh, one of these four star items that I have a lot of and can craft on my own and materials which I have absolutely no need for I, I can't get rid of the amount I have right now. There's nothing I can do in this game to get rid of them. So yeah, maybe 200 coins. Uh, that's what I would pay. So in saying that, I do not recommend you spend a single freaking coin on this. Uh, because you, know, you don't have the option. It's either 1,600 coins or you're not buying it. But yeah, it's just way overpriced. Uh, there's not enough in here to really entice the gamble, in my opinion. There's just not, if if this is what Scopely thinks an ultimate weapon crate looks like, they need to look at their freaking weapon inventory a little bit closer because there's a lot more things they can throw in here to make this closer to an ultimate uh, weapon crate. But that's one man's opinion. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this offer. The ultimate weapon crate here. Uh, what do you think about its value and its worth and the contents inside? As always, if you guys enjoyed, please like. If you're new and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. See you soon.